To the east is U Mountain. To the west is Monument Valley. All areas have Navajo names. All the meadows have names, all the rocks. But we don't have street names. The Navajo Nation is over 27,000 square miles. It covers three states, uh, Arizona, New Mexico, and Utah. The Navajo Nation currently doesn't have a lot of street addresses. It's like past this rock or the Y in a road. That's how we direct people, just using landmarks and guessing on mileage. We will ask dispatch to ask them that if they see us, they start honking their horn or have the family members come out and meet us on the road, take us into the house. That saves us a lot of time. So about six years ago, I was working on a project to detect new roads that we didn't have in our maps. We have great imagery from satellites, so adding these towns to our maps from the GPS coordinates just seemed like a really easy thing to do. I was attending a Google conference. One of the presentations was plus codes. I was talking about working in Kolkata to assign plus codes in the city so that people have an address that they can use to get bank accounts and access to benefits. Instantly we knew this is it, you know, this is the solution we need. We started talking with Doug and he came out to the Navajo Nation and that's where we started our collaboration. A plus code is just a reference to a location based on a GPS coordinate. Just go to Google Maps and tap the blue dot and we'll display the plus code. Go out in the middle of nowhere and anywhere you stand you have a plus code. And that's what we're giving out to the community to address them. We're still learning about what works, what changes we can make to just make it easier for people to discover the codes and for them to use it. One of the most challenging problems that they express to me is emergency response time, especially ambulances getting to homes. We had had several traumatic runs where we didn't know the address, and we had not been able to get to the person in time to help save their life. Uh, had we gotten there sooner, possibly we could have saved them. The experience I had with my mom, we couldn't get an ambulance out to where we live, so my mom lost a whole hour when she had a stroke. I wouldn't want anybody to go through that. While we're traveling to get in here, it could already be importing the information we pull it up right. and it's there. A lot of people are excited about using plus codes, what the possibilities are. If dispatch could just say, look at the number on the house and tell me what that number is, problem solved. My son put up a plus code on social media to inform people of where a ceremony is going to take place. We had people from everywhere, middle of Arizona, the other end of the reservation, show up. We've heard of small businesses like a jeweler that publish their location using a plus code so that people can find them and they can grow their business. It's basically what we've been looking for, you know, something easy to use and it's available for everyone. Ultimately, our hope is to help them solve the problems that they face locally, not just the ones that we think that they face, and allow them to access the same kind of benefits that a lot of us just take for granted as an effect of having an address. I want my people to be visible. Navajos are residents of the state of Utah. This is our home.